Okay, um, thanks a lot for having me here. I'm very happy to see all of you today. So, um, let me promise you two things. First of all, I will make my presentation sharply in 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> two, uh, I'm from economics, but I will not teach you anything about economics. Okay, that's the promise. So, the topic today I have is the life. The life you have and the life I have. Alright? So, Life is tough. <laughs> Very tough. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, it's too tough. Alright, so, as you saw, <laughs> Life is tough, and sometimes you feel your life is very unfair. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. After you came to UST, you just realized that competition is too severe. You have stress and tension. All other students are smart, not you. Okay. <laughs> Professors are harsh. And then, what is the unemployment rate we have in Hong Kong? And what is the expected salary? Okay. What is the housing price in Hong Kong? What can you do after you graduate? Okay? We all know life is tough. But if you complain about your life toughness, I would like to share with you one story of a life of a boy. Okay? So, there's a boy who was born as very small. Okay? This boy was only 1.6 kilogram. Okay? Because it's unbelievable, okay? But there is a reason because he was born in seven months. So he was very small and tiny, weak, okay? Very unfortunately, a mother of the boy somehow left, okay? Three months after the boy was born, by some reason, okay? So unfortunately, the boy does not have any memory of his mother. That's why. The boy was raised by his grandmother, okay? And in his class, he usually has a nickname, which is number one. What does that mean? The smartest person? No, smallest person, okay? Was always his nickname, and then, very unfortunately again, sometimes, some of his classmates refused to play with him because the boy was way too small. Okay, in one basketball play, the boy complained to his friends, Hey, why you didn't pass the ball to me? And all of his friends said, I cannot see you. <laughs> That's that small, okay? Time passed, and then the family somehow get a stepmother. But, as expected, the stepmother was not the right person, okay? The mother, stepmother was a very bad person, turns out to be. And as you expected, many, many bad things happen. Very harsh, radical things, okay? I don't want to share the details, but trust me, it was really bad, okay? At that time, the boy thought, oh my goodness, there is nothing I can do. I just cried. It was so tough. Mm -hmm. Somehow, the boy survived. The boy survived, okay? His father was a businessman. The business went well, but somehow, at one point, the country has a big financial crisis. And his father's business didn't go well. That means, in his high school, he didn't have enough money to buy the textbook. Sometimes, he didn't have money to buy his dinner. So very small cup noodle was usually his dinner. And when he does not have enough money to buy his textbook, he usually goes to the teachers and say, can I have free textbook? Okay? And teachers are very friendly and kind to provide the free textbook to him. That is a way for him to finish his high school. Okay? Luckily, he went to the college. The life was good, very good. But the problem is always about money. He did not have enough money for his tuition. That's why he had no choice to have lots of, lots of part-time jobs. He did everything including tutoring, private tutoring, 
or construction work, or street jobs, whatever. Many, many different types of. Okay, he has done everything. But then, the return from the part-time jobs was very hard because he didn't have enough time to study. And after two years, his GPA turns out to be 0.46 out of 4.3. This is remarkable. So, <laughs> historical records, right? What does that mean? That means he was picked up by his university. Okay? And this is in his age 21. Like some of you sitting here, age 21. Okay? Imagine the situation. You have the situation like this. Okay? Just picked up by your university. You have no money, no good memory about, about life, family. It's hard. It's too hard. You complain, right? The question is, what can you do? What can I do? What can this boy do? That is the question. Important question now is, who is the boy? Yes, as expected. I am the 38 years old version of the boy. Okay? Thank you. Okay. The question is, my life does not look very tough now. It seems I have something better, right? So the question is, what happened really between my age 21 and 38? 17 years has been passed. What really happened? What's the change, right? If the boy at the moment of age 21, who had nothing, just failed, kicked out from the university, achieve something, that means everyone here, even though you feel your life is very tough, can achieve something better, right? So let's see what he did, or what I did, okay? The first thing that I realized was the following. I, for a while, let something that I cannot control govern my life. Is there anything I can do about my height, about my weight? Yes, sir, I can eat more. <laughs> <laughs> Or about my father, about my mother, about my family income. Is there anything I can do? No. But I was dragged so much by those things. I didn't make my own decision. I didn't live my own life. Right? That's why I decided to change something. Realize it should be me who control my life. The first thing I did is to cut down all the part-time jobs. I kept only one, enough to support my daily life, okay? And spend all my, all my time to study, okay? Then, good things came, okay? The first good thing I had was, I met something that I really love into. That was, you laugh, was economics and game theory. Believe it or not, I was really falling in love with game theory at that time, okay? And one of the reasons why I was able to really Falling in love with game theory was that there was a very, very inspiring professor in my college. And the professor said, Uyang, no matter whether you come from which family or not, no matter whether you're smart or not, you can do whatever you like if you work hard. Okay? I trusted his message. I worked hard. And in the second year of my economics college, my GPA turns out to be 4.5. Thank you. It's amazing, right? That's why I got the scholarship, and the better thing came, a private organization contacted me and said, hey, I heard you are working very hard. Who we'll support you financially? Why don't you just study? Well, it's great. Yeah? I didn't, you know, need to have any part-time job at the moment. I really pay attention, focus on my study. That's why, after I finished my college, I was admitted by University of Pittsburgh for the PhD program. And they also said, just come and study. Don't worry about money. Okay, scholarship is there. That's why I went there, I studied. Okay? Even better things came. I met my wife, wonderful lady. Get married. 
I now have two beautiful sons. They are so lovely. And that is my life right now I have. Okay? And even more, it's hard to believe that the small boy who was born as 1.6 kilogram, who suffered a lot from all different things, now can stand in front of you and say something to inspire so many people. This is really, really unbelievable to me. Okay? So, let me ask you the question. Is the life tough? Your life? My life? Or somebody else's life? Yes, life is tough. That is the life. That is the life. But you should know that there is a reason why your life, my life, or somebody else's life is tough. Because toughness of life is basically something that refines you, something that you, uh, something that polishes you, something that makes you strong. Okay. So I suggest if you feel the toughness of your life, face it, feel it. And eventually, that will make you shine brightly. Imagine 20 years, of, 20 years later of your life, that you are standing in front of other people, sharing your own story and inspire other people. I'm sure you can do it, the same as me. Okay? The very last thing that I want to share with you is the following. Trust me, I did it. Trust yourself. You can do it. I am very sure. Because it is you. Thank you very much.